Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Charwell, where today it is still the second day of autumn. Uh, we still have rain coming in at 3am, so we've got one set of uh, one set of crops still to harvest. Uh, so today we're going to be doing our canola. We've just got to fill this tractor up with uh, fuel. Yes, I did remember to fill a tractor up with fuel. Uh, which is why I thought I'd start this video with this job. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're pretty good. I want to show you uh, where we are, where we left off last time. So uh, yeah, we discovered last time that we couldn't actually sell our bales. We had a, a zero price for the bales. So we've put up a second Euro tunnel um, with the uh, second set of bales. So we have a lot of bales now for the farm. So when we do eventually... Oh, branch there. The tree branches always catch me. Um, so when we eventually get our pigs, we are going to be in a really good position with them. Uh, we're going to be able, uh, we, we, well, we're going to have pretty much everything we need so long as we're able to get that, uh, harvested, the, uh, corn harvested. It's the one thing we're not going to be able to harvest before the rain comes. So, uh, fingers crossed. The long-term forecast is not as dire as it first appears. Um, and that we are actually going to be able to uh, to get that harvested. Because it's the one bit we're missing from our collection. But today is all about the canola. Uh, also, we ended up with 50... Um, uh, with over 55... Well, 55,000 last time. We spent a little bit of money on the Euro Tunnel. That is why we're back down to 47. We have also returned our baler and um and everything like that we are about to lose another how much do we lose for this combine because we're at 1.9 hours on this combine at the moment uh this is gonna cost us yeah five thousand so uh yeah that's not great but uh, not much we can do about that we do need this combine to get this field harvested um does mean we're basically gonna have an hour uh, there's Grace on here. Oh, no. We cannot get this combine in that gateway. So, we're going to have to drop our header off. Take the header into the field. And then, uh, fortunately, there's enough space to, to put it in there. But, yeah. We're going to have to take the header into the field on the uh, trailer. And then do from there. Let's drop in cap. Because it's actually easier to see where you're lined up on your trailer in cab than it is any other way right i think we're good yeah i can see the end bits yeah there we are so hop out disconnect our pto and drop it off there we are right so we will get that into the field uh we'll use the, the jcb for this and yeah so this has been uh yeah normally i don't sit around at sort of real time doing stuff but the the forecast is just so dire for this harvest that we've had to do that um our our barley harvest could not actually have gone better uh we have we've made money on that while we've been harvesting even with the huge amount of stuff that we've had to uh lease to get this harvest done uh, as i said it would have been nice uh if we could have had uh the corn done as well uh and had just another day's harvest one more day's harvest and we would have been good because it's not quite ripe yet it's the trouble so as it's not quite ripe it is uh it's it's not available for us to harvest unfortunately otherwise yeah we'd have gone well into the night got all of our crops in and uh, and been in a really good place there we go Right, we'll just turn that off for a minute because we don't want the Bailey trailer to cost us any more money than it already is. And uh, and yeah, there we go. Two, uh, we're over the two hour mark with the combine. Uh, having just sit left it sitting there with the engine running. Uh, but that does mean that we have an hour's worth of lease uh, to get this field done. Which considering we've only done two fields so far, that would uh, would shape up quite nicely. So let's hook this on. There we go. We want to lift it up because uh, otherwise we're going to drag the trailer with us. 
And it's actually fairly good. We're in a pretty good position for starting this field. Um, now, this hasn't been limed, this field. Oh, we need to attach our PTO. There we go. And just, I don't think there are any cables. I think those automatically connect. Start her up, and away we go. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been a good harvest. We are going to head around this headland now. We're going to see uh, how full we get off the headland. Hopefully, it's going to be pretty good. I'm expecting a lower yield off this field than we've had off the last two, off the wheat and the barley. Uh, simply because, uh, A, it's canola, and that produces a lower yield anyway. But, uh, B, uh, it is also, um, it has, as I said, it hasn't been limed. We had an issue with trying to get this field limed in the first place uh, that we've not been able to fix. Uh, we will lime this. Actually, that's something we need to do uh, before we reseed this field. So uh, we will get this limed before uh, we replant it. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's head around the field. Let's see where we are at the end of it and uh, and see what we're really looking at. So we are coming up to the end of the first headland. And we are at about 72, 73% full by the looks of things. So that's pretty good. Uh, that puts us in a, a good place, really. Uh, as I said, not as, uh, not as high a yield as the other fields, but that was completely expected. Um, I'm going to lift my comb up a little bit. Um, but yeah, we are we are in a good place. I'm interested actually, considering what we observed last time. Yeah, it's still a bit high off the ground that header. That's oh, really really odd. I'm not I'm not quite sure. Uh, I I think that it might need a little bit of adjustment on the mod. Uh, in general, it's quite nice, but uh, yeah, I think it, it could do with a slight adjustment for that. Uh, but we are yeah we we're gonna have. Uh, probably a couple of trailers full of canola off here. So about forty to 50,000 litres, I think. Uh, which is going to be good. That is going to be more than enough for us to do our pigs. And I'm very much looking at running the pigs uh, using, the tele uh, using the skid steer. So we're going to get a nice big uh, dumper bucket for the skid steer. And, uh, and basically uh, that and a bale spike... Um, and uh, well, actually, we're not going to get bell spike. We're going to get a um, one of the one of the Warzy uh, front-mounted uh, shredders because that will work pretty well for us for that as well. Wow, we are yeah. It's about it's about uh, a third of the field that we get. So about we get about two thirds, three quarters full from one round. So a third going back should give us what we're after or should give us a full tank uh, which is good uh, means that uh, we should end up with getting our three headlands off in a full tray uh, yeah in a full trailer so that'll be good 99 100 there we go so we'll put our header back down we will head over here start up our JCB and I, I really like these Bailey trailers I really like these Bailey trailers. Absolutely st stonkingly good mod. This. I love the I love the the pattern of the paintware as well as we're using it, and it's just, yeah. I think we will get one of these more permanently on the farm once we have uh, have more money in. Uh, but it'll take a while, I think. I think we're going to be hiring harvest stuff for a couple of years on here if we were to go that far. Certainly seems to be a good setup for our harvest, this. So we'll turn that off. Now, how are we for fuel in our combine? I think we're all right. Yeah, we're all right. We've got more than half a tank. Don't want to put more fuel in here than we uh, need, because uh, if we do that, we're going to find ourselves in a little bit of trouble. Uh, but there we are. That is an empty tank. And really good. So that has uh, given us just over half full of our trailer as normal. Uh, we are 
yeah, we're going to get a couple of trailers off here, I think. Uh, which is a good amount. Very pleased with that. Uh, that will keep us going nicely. Uh, so let's get round the field again. And uh, we should almost make it, I think, back to the start uh, before we have to empty again. And, uh, and yeah, that will be our three headlands pretty much knocked out at that point. Heading down the final side for the third headland now. And we are 83% full. Uh, so yeah, it's it's worked out pretty well. I think we're going to be, I think we're going to make it to the end of here. Whatever happens at the end of here, I'm going to empty. So I'm going to put the auger out. Um, we are because we want to cut in after this, uh, and we know the trailer takes slightly less than a full tank. Um, uh, sorry, slightly less than two full tanks. So we should be all right. We should have a pretty good... Uh, we should have a full trailer, sorry, off the headlands uh, from this. So there we go. That is it. 94%. That should be fine. So let's start this and head down there. Now, three headlands does take quite a bit off a field. Uh, it really does take quite a bit off a field. I am left wondering if we have, uh, if we do have a second full trailer off here. We certainly have another full tank off here, um, but it's uh, yeah, two full trailers. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, there we go. Let's get this unloaded though. Looking absolutely brilliant. There we are. So this will fill our trailer up quite nicely. We don't have a good price for canola at the moment. Uh, and we need to actually save this back. The, the beauty of having the uh, the big uh, or the high demand on the great demand on the barley was A, it was more than we would ever get for the barley. And B, the barley was surplus. The barley was a selling crop. Uh, there we go, 100%. Because the barley was a selling crop, uh, we were able to actually sell it. Uh, we've got the wheat for the other half of that. So let's put this down and turn this off because we're not using it at the moment. And then we can head over and we'll go and tip this. Uh, we need to switch to the grain door uh, because once again, we're going to be using our uh, conveyor belt to, uh, to unload this into one of our bays. Uh, as we, uh, we are in that situation again where we should fit all of this into a bay. Uh, we've uh, we've only got one other crop to put into a bay, so we're actually pretty good. We have five bays in our uh, in our shed, uh, and we're only going to be using three of them this year, which is uh, which is great news. Yeah, and you can see we've already got the conveyor in position. Now I wish there was some way I could get this so that I could. Um, just leave it tipping because that would be good but we do have to sort of nurse this through this so get it in there there we go and tip oh and we need to actually go and turn on our conveyor belt i think because it's saying we have no more capacity yeah right so turn this on Start the engine and start it running. There we go. So that will then put uh, canola into this corner here and slowly fill up this area here. So in the same way as we've got this, uh, that will do that. So let's uh, jump over this and get back in our tractor. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the handbrake on because my computer at the moment or my uh, wheel and stuff at the moment has this habit of, uh, ooh, I think we moved out of the, no, why am I not able to tip anymore? We must have missed the trigger a little bit a moment ago. There we go. Right, handbrake on and tip. And it's basically just tipping little bits in on a regular basis. 
and try to get this up as high as possible. So I'm going to get this tipped. Uh, and once we got it in there, we will get ourselves back over to the field. Five more percent and this will be empty. Yeah, there is no way to just get this tipping in, continually tipping into here, unfortunately. Uh, it's it's just a bit weird. We don't, don't remember having that problem when we were on the... Um, uh, when we were doing the uh, potatoes, or when, uh, sorry, when James was doing the potatoes on uh, on Grower's Farm. That just seemed to tip all the time. But, uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've managed to get our canola tipped anyway. Uh, as I said, I don't think we've got much more. I don't think we've got more than another trailer full. So we only had to do that really twice today. So we're only going to have about 45, yeah, about 45,000 litres of canola, I think. Just under, actually. 21,700. If we have another full trailer, that would be uh, 43,400. Uh, so I don't think we're even going to have that much, to be honest. But let's get our combine restarted. Crack on with this. And, uh, yeah, let's cut into our crop. Uh, because we need to crack on with this job. Right. We have set up the GPS already. That is not where I want to be. I'm going to be over here and more towards the center. So, there-ish. There we go, and down, and away we go. So, uh, yeah, we're going to cut into the field a bit more and uh, and see where we can, uh, see how much we can get off the rest of this field. Because uh, I think we've got a pretty good crop here. Now, we're 55% full, but I've taken this opportunity to go round and get uh, get around the, uh, the pit uh, cut. So we're heading around uh, the pit in the middle of the field at the moment. Uh, it is a perfect time to do that. And in fact, we'll be able to sort of clear this up uh, and get all this done before we uh, before we empty out and, and probably cut in again uh, next time. Now, do I go around the pit again? I think we probably. Well, no, we got we got enough space here to work around it. I think. Uh, but this will just top it up and mean that we, uh, when we come to do that final row over there, we should be in a position where we have pretty much nearly a full tank. Uh, yeah, and that just that just opens that up. It means that we're doing it uh, when we've got our auger into the field from it as well. So uh, just 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 adds that extra protection and not whacking anything against that uh, while we're going around that. But in general, that's worked out pretty well. We are 72% full right now. So back into here. And of course, the thing we have with this that we don't have over the uh, barley thing. We don't have uh, the barley field that we did last time. Is we don't have all the extras. So this, this time, what we're doing is we're just doing a straight cut of the canola. Um, and... Uh, and, and just getting this single job done. We're not we're not having to multitask this time. It's a much more relaxing harvest doing a crop like this. Does mean that we uh, we end up with less stuff slightly. We do have a little bit left on the side. We're going to have to pop back and grab that, I think. I don't think we were quite straight on that edge when we set up the GPS. We weren't far out, to be honest. I mean, that is just a tiny bit that's left. Uh, but uh, yeah, we could have. Uh, we were we ever so slightly out. If we have the space, which I think we're going to, we will just uh, drop back quickly and grab that. There we go. Now the question is, do we have another ten thousand liters left in the rest of this field? We only need to do a full trailer. We only need 10,500 litres. And I, 
I don't know if we have. I don't know if we have it. I don't know if we uh, we have too much. There we go. How are we doing? We are. We are actually doing pretty well. I'm very happy with that. So we'll uh, we'll get lined up for our cutting because I don't want to uh, take the tractor too far or the combine too far back. Actually, we can just jump across like this, save ourselves a little bit of time. So yeah, this is this is the kind of uh, stuff that we're or the the, the kind of uh, situation that we're not aff or advantage I should say that we're not afforded to in something like the realism experiment. The ability to slow down time, get all our crops in before the rain comes. As I was mentioning last time, we do have rain most of the next day. I don't think it's going to dry out enough for us to to do the corn. We may get lucky. We may get lucky in, uh, and it dries out. We will keep an eye on it and we'll be back if that's the case. Um, it's uh, it's one of those things where do I keep the combine? I'm, I'm very tempted to at the moment. If we look like we're going to have several days of rain uh, and, uh, and not, then it won't be worth keeping it. But I just, if it dries out enough, to get stuff in next uh, next game day, it's probably worth keeping the combine and and it costing us two thousand. Um, we are nearly halfway through this hour, so we've got to be very careful uh, on the cost of this combine because it will cost us an extra uh, five thousand to keep this combine about if we go over another hour with it. We don't want to eat up all of that. Now, this would have been why it'd been wise to have had a, uh, a second go round. Um, but yeah, if we keep this combine for three hours full uh, in total, then we are yeah we're going to incur another five thousand pound for it. So um, yeah, trying to avoid doing that really. So we cleared this side of the uh, of the pit. Uh, we're going to head round. So we're going to stay on our line. And, uh, and head down here. But yeah, we've got just a little bit this end of the pit. We've got 30% full. I don't think there's another 70% of, uh, of a tank uh, in the rest of this field. We'll see how much this little bit over here gives us. I don't think, I don't think this is even going to give us 10%. And you can see here we actually, the way we, we initially uh, planted this field... Uh, round here was uh, it's, it's fairly in keeping with this although this map doesn't have uh, multi-terrain angles so um, yeah it is a little bit misleading right so there we go let's just clear this last little bit out ah, it did have an it, it has got nearly 10 percent here wow we are we are a lot further along than I thought we would be. 36%. That is really good. That is... Uh, I'm happy with that. So, yeah. We're going to have... We're going to have less than 40,000. Unless we have... Uh, unless we have 9,000 in here. I think it's going to be less than 40,000. We may have cut a little bit deep here. Yeah, I think we have. But that's okay. Uh, we're not looking at having a full tank anytime soon. I will be amazed. If we manage to pull a full tank out of this, that would be something. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, as I said. It is looking absolutely brilliant, though, this combine. I do love this 690. It is... Uh, it is perfect for a farm this size and I wish we had uh, sort of the, the New Hollands in the case at this size in game as standard because it's one of those things where uh, farm sim when it brought the New Hollands in has always been missing this mid size both the mid size New Holland combines and the mid size New Holland tractors 
have been missing from the game ever since New Holland came into it. Um, and it's and it's something that I would really, really like to see in the game. We uh, to not have those short wheelbase uh, T sevens or or the 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 six seven eight nineties is uh, is a pity. We have made it to fifty percent full, but we don't have a lot of field left. How much is in that last row? That is going to be the telltale. If it's 10%, that would be nice. Uh, judging by this, I'm not so sure it will be. We're going to get that last little bit up there, and then we will see where this is. But all in all, a pretty successful harvest so far um we will see what the rain brings and what we can do about it as i said we need to get uh we need to get lime on here when the rain stops we can actually lime this field uh so we might be able to to do that next time uh, and will allow us to sort of evaluate things and me to give you guys an update on what we're going to be doing and uh and it may be that we end up skipping ahead a few days to get that corn cut um, but I don't know if it's worth the 12 grand to release this combine or whether we should just hold on at the moment. We have, we have half an hour left on this combine before it will cost us again. And I think, I think we'll spend a little bit of time at the end of, uh, of this uh, just evaluating that. Because we need to make the decision. We've got to get the combine back to the farm either way, I think. Right. Turn off our thresher. Unload the combine. There we go. So, yeah, we are. It's, it's now a question of whether we keep this combine around for the next couple of days. Uh, as I said last time, let me know your thoughts in the chat. Uh, in the comments below, we will uh, we will work this out. There we go. And we will fold everything in. Yeah, fold down our combine. All good. And then we can just plonk this back on our header trailer. Now, whatever happens, we're going to be returning the header and the header trailer right now. We don't need either of these. We've only got corn to do, so we've got to go and pick up a corn header at the very least. Let's uh, disconnect that. There we go. And disconnect our header. So, that is done. The header and the uh, header trailer can go back uh, because we have, we will just double check this, uh, we have harvested all of our crops, I believe. So yeah, so we've only got 44, 31 and 42 left. They are all, I think, corn. Yeah, 44, 31 and 42 are all corn. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that is it. We have nothing else to harvest with them. Uh, we need to get some lime on field 45. Uh, but otherwise, that is all good. So, we will return this header and the header trailer into the garage. Leased items. Uh, the very feed, 32 foot and that. So, uh, return that. Yes. Okay. And return that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nicely, we'll be able to return that at the end of, uh, of the harvest as well, once we've finished loading stuff in. So we've just got this year left. Um, our CR1090, our, sorry, a 690, our Bailey trailer and our Grimmy uh, header, or sorry, um, conveyor. So we'll get this lot back to the farm now. This has 83%, 18,000. We are going to be just shy of 40,000 litres of uh, canola which is good news that puts us 
in a pretty good place to be honest let's get our beacons on because we want our combine to follow us back it could do with a wash down to be honest there we go and beacons on on that as well and away we go is that going to clear it oh it's those cement mixers but yeah we'll get this stuff back to the yard We'll all be good and dandy. As I said, we want to let me know whether you think I should hold on to the combine or whether it's going to be something that we uh, shouldn't keep. Is it coming? No, nope, I think it's blocked. Right, we will uh, We will go and get the combine in a moment. I'll get this uh, back to the yard first. Yeah, helper B is blocked by an object, so... Our oh, follow me hasn't quite worked. We should probably have done the follow me the other way around. Right, there we go. Right, and head over to here. Blocked by a car. So, follow me off. Burst it up. And we'll get the combine home. Yeah, trying to avoid stuff is not easy. But we can get this just going at full whack now. I think it was only following it like 10 miles an hour because that's what our cruise control is set to. Now, I don't think this combine will go in our shed. Which is another reason for... Uh, oh, no, I don't know, actually. We might get it in our shed, actually. Uh, no. <laughs> this is why we need a new farmyard. Because we will eventually want to, uh, to actually get a combine of our own. And at the moment, we are unable to actually park it in the shed. Right, turn that off. Put that there. We've got 2.6. So we've got 0.4 of an hour before that cost. So that is going to end up costing us again. We'll tip the canola in and hopefully that will keep going. Yeah, there we go. Uh, right, so that is it. That is the harvest done. We've got everything back. As I said, let us know in the comments, should I hold on to the combine uh, or should I get rid of it before next time? Um, I think it will be interesting, but I will I will see what you guys say. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Bertram Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.